Hello again. Back on my same walking path. And today's mystery, the missing P.O. box key and why I don't consider myself to have any friends anymore. So, have you ever just had the feeling that somebody may not quite like you, but they acted and sounded like they were your friend the whole time? And you just had to know. Well, I have been put in many situations like this. And here I am in my hometown where I grew up. Center Ossipee, New Hampshire. One of the most fantastic towns in the world, in my opinion. It's got the world's second most perfect ring dike. Yes, Ring Dyke, that's a volcano, an inactive volcano, not to be confused with someone's sexual orientation. So you can say Ring Dyke all you want. I have to keep this as child appropriate as I possibly can because I'll gain more viewers that way. So, the P.O. Box key was left in a very specific location. I had mail go missing, and I also had mail go to a physical address that I did not put on my bank statement. Number four is different than 150. I mean, it's as plain to see to me that 150 and four cannot be easily mistaken. So that was my first clue. My second clue was the tote that had a familiar shape, color, and appearance to something that had my belongings in it. Thankfully, it did not, and my family are good people. Third clue was just now. I'm checking my Miles application that I specifically downloaded because this summer I am walking because, you know, due to the COVID pandemic and everyone's, you know, unfounded panic in my opinion the gas prices have soared through the roof so i planned to not buy a vehicle or drive anywhere myself at all so i'm checking my miles application and it says that i went to a place that i did not go so here in my hometown, I'm able to go to the place where I grew up as a child, pitch a tent, have my phone stolen from me, and moved to somewhere that I swear I would never go. There's no reason for me to be there. I don't know anyone up there. I don't owe anyone up there a damn thing. The fact is, is that you have to be very careful in this life about telling people what you want and what you need and how to be very specific 